name is Erica von Kleist, and I'm going to talk about building a good sound on saxophone. In a previous video, I discussed proper breathing technique, but just a little review of that. Your air has got to come in here, past your chest, down here, down to your abs and your diaphragm. You want your air to come all the way down here. This is going to help you with your sound tremendously. Your saxophone sound is going to come from the ground up. All your vibrations and all the different, the energy from your sound has got to come from the floor. It's got to come from the earth. It's got to come from your feet all the way up your body, through your breath down here, and then out and eventually into your, into your instrument. And that's going to come from proper breathing. So when you breathe down here, all that is going to come from the right place. You're not going to be too tense. Up here, you already have enough tension with your neck strap. You want to keep this nice and loose, and all your air has got to come down here. The best way to learn how to um, build your sound from the ground up is starting from a subtone. Now, a subtone is um, a sound you make on a, a wind instrument that is sort of halfway there. It's sort of like an undertone. It's an undercurrent of sound. Great saxophonists who have subtone in their sound, who have that vibration and that depth to their sounds, um, you can hear it in Lester Young's playing, Ben Webster, Joe Lovano. Any great saxophonist has built their sound from the ground up. And one way to start doing that is in the lowest part of your instrument, which on most horns is a low B flat. What you want to do first is just practice breathing into that note. Don't worry about getting a sound out just yet. Just breathe some air into your instrument while fingering that low B flat. And that's going to get the air all the way through your instrument because all of the keys are closed. So let's try that. Nice deep breath. And using your abs, push your air out through the instrument on that low B flat. Don't worry about getting a sound out. Try one more time. In. That's getting that air throughout the instrument. Now, to develop that subtone, what you want to do is get a sound that's sort of there. You want to get a low B flat, but you don't want to get the whole shebang. You don't want to get the whole note there. You just want to get a hint of it like so. Do you hear that? You can hear the note, but it's not all, all the way there. The sound is coming from the ground up. The opposite would be the top down. A lot of saxophone players, when they want to get the low B flat, they go like this. They really force it out. They use their tongue, they use their fingers, you're coming at it from this way. It's almost like a plane dive bombing. It's, it's, it's not what you want. You want it to come from the ground up through that subtone. Not. You want. You want just a hint of it in there. Your whole body is nice and loose. Now with that nice subtone in your low register, your whole range is going to develop. That low register has all those beautiful harmonics and colors in it, especially if you're getting that vibration correctly through the subtone. And those harmonics and all that beautiful color is going to be heard throughout your instrument if you're doing it correctly. <sighs> might not be able to hear it through the camera and through the microphones here in this room, but when I play that low B flat, you can hear the walls vibrating, you hear the floor vibrating. I can hear a piano in the distance sort of reverberating. Try that when you're in a practice room or you're in a rehearsal space. Play that low B flat, get the subtone, and see if you can hear other objects and other things in the room vibrating. That means you're getting the right sound.